Good evening and welcome. Mick McCarthy calls it a day. After nearly seven years as the Republic's manager, under mounting pressure, he steps down. The Morris Tribunal hears grave criticism of the Garda investigation into Richie Barron's death. 28 airlines face a landmark compensation case from victims of deep vein thrombosis. The Taoiseach vigorously denies reports suggesting a government deal with the real IRA. Mick McCarthy has resigned as manager of the Republic of Ireland soccer team. He had been under pressure to go since Ireland's poor performance in the opening matches of the European Championship qualifiers. Today's decision brings to an end an Irish career which began when McCarthy played for his country against Poland in 1984. The Football Association of Ireland has confirmed that a compensation package has been agreed with the former manager. A joint news conference is expected to begin in Dublin shortly. Mick McCarthy arriving at the FAI tonight to hand in his notice. After secret talks earlier today with his employers, McCarthy agreed to go after getting a compensation package. McCarthy had been under pressure since sending Roy Keane home from the World Cup and since losing the opening two games of his new European qualification campaign. The Republic of Ireland manager was unveiled at a press conference in March 1996 and inherited an ageing side. He introduced new talent but failed to reach either the 1998 World Cup in France or Euro 2000, losing important playoffs. But McCarthy's young side came of age during the qualification campaign for the 2002 World Cup with memorable displays against Portugal and Holland. They reached the finals but disaster struck in the training camp of Saipan when McCarthy had a controversial falling out with his captain Roy Keane. The training pitch is a disgrace. And somebody's got somebody's to hold a hand up and say, it's like training on a car park. After a stormy team meeting, McCarthy sent Keane home, provoking a huge controversy. I think I've tried to handle it with dignity. Keane later told RTE's Tommy Gorman the manager was wrong. What happened to me last week was wrong. It was wrong. The Keane affair haunted the World Cup, but McCarthy's side performed well, reaching the second round. They came home to a hero's welcome, but soon the knives were out for McCarthy after the side lost the opening two games of the Euro 2004 campaign. Significantly, the manager was booed by sections of the crowd after losing to Switzerland at Lansdowne Road. McCarthy's legacy was to blood new stars like Robbie Keane and Damien Duff, taking the Republic to the 2002 World Cup and number 13 in the world rankings. His likely successors are the former Liverpool star John Toshak, former Wimbledon manager Joe Kinnear or the former player John Aldridge. Gareth O'Connor, RTE News. And we're going over now live to the Burlington Hotel to that FAI news conference. Uh, yeah, I guess it was, but it was, uh, it was the right decision. And I'm completely happy with it. Um, uh, it's my decision. It's, uh, I've not been maybe as suggested, asked or pushed. It was my decision, my decision only. And what ground did you make that decision make? Uh, for the good of the team, <coughs> as much as anything. I said to you after the last game, that I think if my presence, uh, because of circumstances, is affecting performances, and I think uh, not so much my presence as some of the stuff that was going on surrounding my presence <coughs> affected team performances then, I said I would consider my position, and I did. Uh, I wasn't going to do it immediately after the game. That would have been a knee-jerk reaction. I went away and thought about it, but uh, my opinion never changed. Do you feel in any sense a sense of betrayal over what's happened in the last few days? I don't feel any sense of betrayal at all. It's, it's my decision. I'll tell you what I, I feel. I feel one of actually immense pride and pleasure having been allowed to do the job and being given the opportunity to do it and perhaps at a time when some people were trying to get me out of it the FAI at that time was strong enough to back me and I think we all reap that reward in Japan and Korea in the summer so no it's just uh, I'm very very proud that I've been allowed to do the job and I've enjoyed every minute of it but you said only last week or was it ten days ago that you were going to say and you called the show? 
Well, you know, when, when you're getting calls from everybody asking what you're going to do, I think I, I, I really ought to be allowed to sit and think about what I'm going to do and not to make decisions in the full glare of the media. Because if I say anything to anybody else, it's, you know, that's, it's the wrong way of doing it. And I think this is the right way of doing it. I made my decision and then everybody can come and have the story. There has been mixed reaction to Mick McCarthy's resignation. The Taoiseach has said he's sad to see him go and hoped he'd soon get a job managing a premiership team. However, some members of the public were glad to see him go. The search for a replacement has begun, but already former Irish international David O'Leary has ruled himself out for the job. After months of speculation, Mick McCarthy's resignation was finally announced this evening. Unsurprisingly, there's been a mixed reaction to the news, but almost no surprise to the announcement itself. David O'Leary, the former Ireland international and Leeds manager, said he wasn't taken aback by the news, but he firmly ruled himself out of replacing McCarthy. If I was asked, I don't think I would be asked, but if I was asked, I would decline the job. Uh, I want to get back into day-to-day -day management, and uh, when I have that all out of my system, uh, yes, I want to manage my country. And when, as I say, football day-to-day -day management is out, out of my system, I hope then the FAI would come and ask me to, to manage my country. One die-hard football fan who was also sorry to hear the resignation was the Taoiseach. Um, it's, going to, it's going to be an interesting period, but I'm, I'm sorry to see Mick going. But, but if, if it's satisfactory to him, I just wish him well in whatever he does. And I hope he gets a job in the Premiership Club. Soccer pundit Johnny Giles said the news had come as no great surprise and said it should perhaps have come sooner. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the right time for, for Mick McCarthy to quit was in the summer, actually, immediately after the World Cup, because uh, you know, the Roy Keane saga was always going to rumble on and you would have to win every match to keep the pressure off, and uh, there's no manager can do that. Meanwhile, on the streets of Dublin tonight, there's been a very mixed reaction to the news of Mick McCarthy's resignation. It's a sad day for Irish football, and all Irish fans as well. I mean, it's not Mick McCarthy who that as should go. I mean, the FEO is the root of the problem from the World Cup. I feel it's actually a very good day for me today, because I never liked Mick McCarthy. I think he should go. And when he goes, obviously Roy King will come back and obviously we will qualify for the European Championships. Richard Dowling, RTE. I was in the world, didn't play in the World Cup. And for whatever reasons that was, yeah. But what's also a little bit sad is that the set of circumstances affected a guy who's done his best for Ireland always as a player and as a manager. And that's me. And it's a little bit sad that all those circumstances have affected that. But we get on with it. Onwards. I don't know what's